Today, we are going to show you how to install your pillar mount. To complete the installation, you will require a Phillips head screwdriver. All the other tools are included. A level is suggested, but by no means required. Included in your kit is a full motion TV mount, both a large and small column mounting plate, brackets and hardware for your television, along with two ratchet straps. From the small Ziploc bag, remove the two carriage bolts and locking nuts, along with a matching single-sided wrench. Select the appropriate column mounting plate for your size of column. The kit includes both the size small and large. The extra column mounting plate can be stored for future use should it be required. Large is intended for columns with a 30 to 144 inch circumference or a 10 to 46 inch diameter. Additionally, it is suitable for square or rectangular columns with sides greater than or equal to 8 inches in width. Most residential condo building columns are compatible with a size large. Small is intended for columns with a 12 to 30 inch circumference or a 4 to 10 inch diameter. Additionally, it is suitable for square or rectangular columns with sides greater than or equal to 4 inches in width. From the underside, insert the carriage bolts into the two square holes on the previously selected column mounting plate. Align the top and bottom center holes on the full motion mount, securing them in place with the locking nuts. Tighten with the wrench until snug. Feed both ratchet straps through the slots on the column mounting plate. Ensure that the ratchet strap handle is positioned facing away from the mount and column with no twisting. Have a partner hold the mount up to the column at the desired position and height. Ensure the arrow on the full motion mount is facing upwards. A level can be used at this point if available. While your partner continues to hold the mount, wrap one of the provided straps around the column, positioning the ratchet buckle at the rear of the column and out of sight. Feed the loose end of the strap through the ratchet spindle and remove all the slack. Ratchet the handle until the strap becomes quite taut. As you are tightening, try to keep the strap straight for a clean look. Apply the second strap in the same fashion. Should you need to adjust the strap, it can be released by opening the ratchet handle and squeezing the two triggers simultaneously. At this point, the mount should feel extremely stable. Remove the stand from the TV if you haven't already done so. Locate the mounting bracket attachment holes near the rear of the TV. These are sometimes covered with plastic or have screws already in them. If so, remove. Align the mounting brackets with the holes on the back of your TV. Choose the appropriate bolts and washers from the packages provided that fit the threading. Tighten until snug. Lift the TV, hooking the mounting brackets onto the top rail of the full motion mount. Tighten the screws on the bottom of the mounting brackets, securing the TV in place. The mount can be shifted three degrees clockwise or counterclockwise for minor leveling adjustments. Simply apply a little pressure in the desired direction to do so. Should the TV not hold a level position, tighten the four bolts located on the rear of the mounting plate from which the TV hangs. Additionally, the TV's tilt can also be adjusted using the two screws located on the mount directly behind the TV. You will find the appropriate Allen key in the small Ziploc bag. That's it, you are done. Sit back and enjoy your pillar mount.